us, sweetheart, amen, uh, identified and, and, and realized without the spirit, it is just a body. body. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Are y'all feeling me up here? And we nobody teach you that? Nobody emphasize that? Right. And nobody have a problem with you saying the body uh, is down at so and so funeral home. Uh -huh. Prepare, getting prepared for the funeral of the homegoing service. Amen. Are y'all feeling me? Amen. Because even then, without any education or knowledge of uh, Prophet Charles, we understand without the Spirit, there is no life. Amen. That's right. That's right. Somebody say amen. Amen. So, so, here, so here we find our amen. Praise God. Uh, he said, Father, into your hand, I entrust my life. I give my spirit. Uh -huh. Not the body, but my spirit. That's it. That's it. And so today, when you leave here today, in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you, praise God, four important points, amen, as to why we should trust God with our life. Yes. I don't care what you're going through. Last night, matter of fact, praise God, uh, I had some sun, uh, they call it sundowners, right? Uh, that's when things throw your body, as you get older, a certain illness, it comes up even worse uh -huh. as the sun begins to go down. Mm -hmm. okay. And last night around my six or seven, praise God, amen, my silence were hurting me so bad. I had such a headache. Uh, I couldn't have seen. Around 10 o'clock, I couldn't hardly watch TV. I couldn't do nothing. I couldn't focus. I walked into the, it got in front of the mirror. I said, oh, God, you do look bad. <laughs> Somebody say amen. amen. I said, you look terrible. Not, not out loud. I didn't want to know. I think I'm crazy. <laughs> and, but to myself, John, I said, you look bad. And so I walked into my into the bedroom, the master bedroom. I began to cut TV off, light, everything else, and I just I, I was throwing the cover off the bed, and I just crawled in bed. Mm -hmm. About ten thirty. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So so well, why do you say that, Doctor Bruce? Amen. Because Amen. Sometimes when you feeling bad, I can trust God. Amen. I, I said, Lord, if it's my time, I I, I trust you. Yes. But Father, if it's not. Touch my body. Yes. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. I felt like getting about. I felt like, well, Lord, I'm 58 now, so maybe it's my time. I don't know. I said, because I feel terrible. Yeah. Amen. But as I begin to trust him, I said, Lord, I, I give it to you. Uh -huh. My life, my health, my mind, whatever, God, whatever, I give it to you. This about 2 o'clock in the morning, I woke up to my, I feel like better not be at 1030. <laughs> Somebody say amen. Amen. I said, Felt so good, amen. But I thank God, amen. But sometimes there come a time in your life you just gotta trust God. Yeah. Yes. You got to give to God, the Lord. I, I trust you. Yes. I, trust you. I don't know how it's gonna come out, but it's okay with me. Yeah. All right, here we go. We've got a few more minutes now. Let's look at these four truths that we have to uh, we have to uh, 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 get into our lives and understand in order to truly trust God with our lives. Amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Because your life, I don't, know, I don't know about you, but your life is precious, is it not? Yes. Yeah. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. And, and, and just like you, amen. Uh, let me, I, I said I'm going to move on, but I got to give this amen. Uh, God just giving me this amen. It's just like when you're in a car with somebody and they drive driving crazy. Amen. Now, you don't trust your life to get in the car with the knucklehead. Somebody say amen. Amen. And then they are acting fool. Yes. Texting. Mm. Weaving. What? Running off the road, <laughs> looking all back, looking down, yes. playing with the stereo, all this stuff, right? Running up on cars, and got a break. You like, <laughs> you got your foot on the brake over there, and you can't, but you breaking and holding it. After a while, you're like, look, <laughs> amen. amen. You kill yourself, but let me out. So I say, amen. Amen. Or you say, look, let me drive. You sit over here. Because you got my life in your hand. Amen. And I have entrusted you with my life by riding with you. So you got to straighten up here. Yeah. So I say, amen. 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 So here, pray God, amen. With these truths, amen, no matter what's going on, I got to put my life in God's hand. Yes. Amen. All right. Number one, Jesus gave up his life voluntarily. Yes. This is one of the first points you got to understand. When you are trusting God with your life, you got to give it up without somebody beating you inside your head. Amen. When you want to live this Christian life, can't, can't nobody, I know, I know that's not proper, but, but can't nobody make you live this life. Amen. 
Tell somebody this is good preaching. This is That's good preaching. Y'all ain't saying amen, but this is good preaching. Amen. Amen. Because some churches really believe, John, they can make you live right. Come on. They believe they can set up bylaws and guidelines the rules and all this kind of stuff. It'll make you live right. But if you don't give up your life to Christ on a voluntary basis, can't nobody make you live right. Amen. 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 Mark, they can't make you live right. I don't care what that preacher says. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. I don't care what. Uh, if you're going to do this thing with Christ, amen, you got to make with your own mind, you got to do it. Amen. When I was a young man, one thing I said to the church, about the church, I said, if I ever go to the church, uh -huh. I'm going to be for real, mm -hmm. I'm going to leave it alone. Amen. At 21 or 20, I told myself, if I ever come to church, I'm either going to be in, I'm going to be out. Amen. So I say amen. amen. I'm not going to play. Amen. I'm either going to be, I'm going to do this or I'm not. Amen. 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 And with nobody making me, nobody, amen, praying God was forcing me, amen, I did it because I voluntarily, I wanted to do it. And I, the reason I did it, amen, this little girl over in Jericho, I told you this story before, she had broke up with me and I cried all night long, called me, acting a fool, you know, all that stuff. <laughs> amen, praying God, I'm doing it, y'all, in love. Amen, she broke up with me and I was crying, I was in my bed, crying on my knees, about one o'clock in the morning, I prayed God, baby, and I was crying, boy, you know what I'm saying, man, boy. I was carrying on. I was acting up. I was all. Amen. Bless him. Oh, I carried on. About 3 o'clock in the morning. Huh? Something like that. Hey, Jesus, Lord. And then the last thing that gave me peace of all that crying and trying to speak in tongues and be spiritual and deep and all that stuff on my knees, knees hurting, all that stuff, right? Going through all those emotions. I finally said, Lord. I want to be saved. Mm. If I never see her, never have her back, she never come back. I want to be saved. Amen. And when I say that, Tamara, I got up and got in my bed and went to sleep. Yeah. Come on, say amen. Amen. I don't care what you do. It has to be a voluntary commitment. It's what you want to do. Yeah. Amen. I was 21 years old and I made a commitment. Lord, no matter, I'm hurting. I, she, she left me. I love to. But anyway, I was all caught up. <laughs> Y'all leave me alone. You love who you love. Somebody say amen. amen. Praise God. That's why some bush is so nice. But anyway, <laughs> but, 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 amen. but the thing is, but God, amen. <laughs> Y'all pray for me. Amen. I love y'all. Amen. But praise God, but the thing was, amen, it had to be a voluntary thing. Oh, I trusted yeah. God. I said, Lord, I want to be Say. Yes, and even when I messaged Bruce back in 79, one of the first things I told her I was, listen, I don't want a girlfriend. I want a wife. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. Because I want a girlfriend, I'm going to mess up. Mm -hmm. I knew Bruce. Mm -hmm. Somebody say amen. amen. So I told her straight up, and when I met her, I said, I want a wife. Okay. I don't need a girlfriend. Because I made a decision, amen, I want to be saved. Yes. Somebody say amen. Amen. Oh, oh I took up too much time. Come on, y'all. Hey, amen. Y'all, y'all push me. Now. I said, let's get out of here. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta say amen. Wake up here. Amen. Help me out. All right. Amen. Uh, John ten and eighteen says, "No one can take my." Listen, this is what Jesus was saying. This is what Jesus, Jesus said. No one can take my life from me. I lay down my life out voluntarily. He talked to me. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I love Jesus. I love Jesus. Yes. I love the way he talked. I love his attitude. I love his mannerism, right? He kept, did not just keep it real. Yeah. This is what heard talk right here. Yeah. Somebody say, man, yeah. he said, nobody take my life from me. I lay down, down voluntarily. Right. Nobody's going to make me come to church. Yeah. Nobody's going to make me serve God and, and live holy and live right. Ain't nobody going to make me do it. Amen. I do it voluntarily. Yes. I do it because I want to. Yes. I want to keep it 100. Amen. Because I'm going to be real. Somebody say amen. Amen. This is what I do. You say what well, you Jesus, Jesus was a Jesus was a straight up. He he was straight up boy. He was kind of almost thug as well. Yes. Somebody say amen. Amen. Oh, he was bold for that day and time, right? Yeah. Praise God, amen. For that day and time, I, I give up my life because I do it because I want to. And you know that's straight up. That's straight up. With your chest out. Mm -hmm. Somebody say amen. Amen. 
This way we got this way. See, the church don't got now. We don't got so um, belittled and bow legged and, and weak and pitiful and fat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, why you, you go to yeah, I go to church now. Well, you know now, if I don't show up, the pastor's going to be mad at me, going to be calling one of where I'm at. So, we, do, we come to church now for every other reason besides because I want to. Amen. Come on, Pastor. I just flat out want to go. Yes. That's right. Somebody say amen. Amen. I, just, I don't care what they say. I don't care what I'm wearing. I just want to go. I want to go hear a word that's going to help me. This is the I lay my, my life down. How? Volunteer. For I have authority to do what? To lay it down. When I and when I want to, and also the power to do what? Take it back. Yeah. Yeah. Can you just can't tell me Jesus was a, he was a Amen. bad boy. Come on, somebody. Amen. Can you imagine somebody? Can you imagine you standing for somebody? somebody? I do if I want to. If I don't want to, I don't have to. If I do it, then I did. Amen. That's it. Come on. He was straight up talking when this is together. I love him. I, I love Jesus. Listen, this is this is this is attitude, y'all. Yes. About salvation. Amen. Let's move on. Jesus, Jesus, gave, uh, Jesus gave a little note here. Jesus gave up his life with confidence. With confidence. With confidence. He was confident in what he was doing. Yes. You can tell when somebody is playing and talking outside of their neck, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on, y'all. Amen. When somebody's able to do something for you, it's how they say it, it won't let you believe it or not, don't you? That's yes. right. Some people can tell you stuff, John, you be like, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. And you go ahead and make other plans, but you know why? They ain't gonna show up. Amen. And when they call them out, when I can't make you, back, that's all right, baby. I already got another ride. I already knew it. Yes. I already knew it. Yes. Already knew it. Yes. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, you know, don't worry about it. See, Jesus, Jesus gave his life with confidence. Yeah. Amen. And when you come to serve God, you gotta have, you gotta be bold in what you do. Yes. That's why every church, like when I got back from Germany, Josh, every church I went to, they said. This young man in the back, he got something to say? Yeah, I'm saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, fire baptized, on my way to heaven, and enjoy my trip. Amen, amen. And the church I went into, right, that was my testimony. Amen. At 21 years old, they all going to get bug-eyed and look like, yeah, I'm saved. 